so let's continue our data structures class and on our 10th lecture we're talking about classes and objects and we saw how we can use our basic create a basic animal class you can find it now in my there we go here right we create a nice animal class right it's some private properties some public properties also uh, functions uh, public functions and also public fun uh, and private functions Let's see, we have private, right? We have any methods? Yeah, we do have, of course, we actually didn't use any private methods in this case for member functions. All right, so again, the point is that we can use the double colon scope resolution operator to implement something. We say, okay, we want to have a feed, right? Then we actually, at some point, we have to actually, well, declare, define it, right? So uh, later on in this today, we will see how to separate your code in three different files. Basically, you have your main file, right, your program file, and then you'll have a header file for the classes, and also the implementation file, also a CPP file. Okay, but let's see, let's finish our slides, right, implementation of member functions, right, um, you can use the function. So accessors and mutators, right, so again, very common in OOP, right, that accessors maybe you only see some values mutation of course means you modify something right uh, so constant member function that cannot modify member variables of that class you have constant at the end right so uh, there is no fixed order but of course uh, if you start in this private then well yeah uh, you should do the private first i would say right and the public afterwards right since you have to you want to make anything so again in classes if you want anything public you have to Put it under public, obviously, right? So here we see this right again, or animal, right? This is all public stuff, right? This is all private stuff, right? So private first, okay? So constructors, right? Uh, thing is, if you don't define a constructor, you will still, well, you still get a constructor, right? So again, so it's not like you can escape, right? And here we have a our own our own constructor. In fact, the thing is, you can actually have multiple constructors as well, actually, but that's actually getting into, uh, I mean, for defining a type, right? So, uh, let's take a look again. So, yeah, you can have more than one constructor, but of course, the, the requirements are different parameters. So, what, does it mean? what do I mean by that? Okay, so, here we have a default bar. I could have another, right? Let's see if I can, uh, let's make another constructors, right? I'll do one more. Default one, let's do one more. Uh, uh, let's see, yeah, um, I'll do this one, I don't, I think this should compile, uh, but this is actually going to get tricky, right, because, or just name, just name, because the signature, how is going to tell, just name, right, name, for example, age, maybe, you know, 900, right, uh, modus, or whatever, who was fully 900, Meta, meta something, right? Let's see, guys. Uh, oh, 969, okay. Uh, but uh, name, so default age, right? So let's see if this works actually, or we had to do something else uh, here, right? Uh, so this means, of course, yeah, I, let's see if this compiles. Yeah, it compiles. So I'll make a compiler uh, like a, uh, some uh, who lives so long? What is it? Like some squid or something? No, fish or shark? Sharks live like 300 years. So if they they or like turtles live like 300 years. Some of them, right? Yes. I'll do a turtle. Let's make a turtle. Crocodiles. What? Crocodiles. Crocodiles also. Okay. Yeah. All right. The fish. Let's make it. Uh, let's use the shorter. Elephants, okay, right. On uh, elephant display, right. So now, again, okay, so let's see. Though, so I assume the elephant will be also destroyed first, paradoxical, paradoxically. <laughs> so feed. What do we feed elements? Let's see. Elephant feed. Elephant. Elephant feed. Banana. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, that's pretty smart. All right. Now let's run it. Let's compile. It. Oh yeah. Elephants were first to go, age 900, right? Banana, right? Default age. So, yeah, so you see how you can make multiple constructors if you, again, 
if you expect, why would you want to do this, right? You expect that uh, you will have uh, uh, multiple ways of, you know, sometimes you want to be really lazy, right? Again, uh, just pass name. Of course, you could sort of say default values, right? That would also, there's an issue, right? I'm, Again, if I if I say that name and age here, I have default bar, right? That means, of course, I will not need uh, uh, need this one here, right? So overloads, right? So you don't want to maybe overload too much, right? So it can get relatively complex, but yeah. So which constructor executes depends on the type of values, right? So again, I'm not going to go into that right now. What happens if you have exactly the same signature? I would just say use one, right? <laughs> So specific constructor, right? Yeah. So default cons this is default constructor, right? Of course, right? So uh, specific on these parameters, right? Again, it will look for the best match, and of course, if there's an okay, so if there's an ambiguity, it, will, it should cause a compile time error, right? Because of course, how the heck would compiler decide, right? So what I'm talking about again is if I made a, another constructor here with these two parameters, right here, right? That should be ambiguous because if I call these two parameters, it will match two different constructors, this one and another one, right? But that's why I didn't want to include it. So let's we'll skip with that. So default parameters, which we use already, the bark is the default one. I like, I personally, again, I use so much Python these days, I like the default construct, default parameters, right? So again, what happens if you have no constructors, right? Uh, well, uh, then, uh, it's, only, it's, it's declared, but it's only initialized. You have to be, uh, you have to do something, with it, right? So uh, there's memory initialization in class declarations, inline initialization in C++11, right? So with inline initialized values, right? So let's, do we have an example here? All right, array of class objects, class should have default constructor, right? Of course. So then you have default uh, construction, right? Destructor again, destruction of all the values. <coughs> Let me see the sound is better if I am using the mic here, right? So now it should be better, hopefully. The recording should be better now. We're going to pick up uh, this on. So the structure automatically executes when the object goes out of the scope, right? So abstraction. So now, yeah, so now we get to the abstraction again. Uh, so the core idea is we separate or design or grand, grand design from actually what's happening, right? So you separate the logical properties from how you implement things, right? So it could be the data, right? So uh, with ADTs, right, we have some name of ADT, domain, well, okay, what's going to happen? And also we can define some operations. And we will make a stack ADT, right? So uh, again, we'll talk more about abstraction in a moment. I think probably next lecture, I think we do. Uh, so now here, structures, again, I told you this already, Structures are public, right? By default, all the members, right? And of course, you can private if you want. So basically, same capabilities, right? I think there's nothing really else different in C++, right? Uh, again, if I'm wrong, you correct me, but I think it's just exactly the same. So uh, if you have mostly public stuff, you can use structures. Again, the tendency if you have just plain old data, POD, right? Plain old data, you would use structures more, right? But again, if you have some some things which you want to uh, hide, more stuff which you need to hide, you would use classes, right? And again, of course, some you might just prefer, okay, if you want to fly, just do, always use classes for everything, or always use structures, hey, that's your choice. Okay, but we now want to get uh, some technical stuff. So, uh, about again, in hiding, you want to hide the details operation. So, very typical way of doing it is, of course, is to have a header file where we say, okay, interface, we can call it an interface file in some language now, right? Basically, you define what can be done, but what's going to be done is actually going to be in a separate CPP file, right? Which is going to have, of course, the actual, uh, uh, so typically they, they have the same names, just extensions different, right? So let's try to do this, right? So let's do that. So let's create a person file, right? So this, I'll leave the classes out. Right. Let's create a, a person header. Right. Let's do some. Okay. So more, more animals. Right. We move from animals to, to persons or entities. Right. Maybe entity. Always, always. All right. Yes. Changes. Okay. 
So I will come up with person H, person H, right? So header file. Let's let's create the person class. We'll have a name, age, and what methods? And uh, for name, uh, also we will uh, have a constructor method to print out the person. And what else should person? What else should person do? In generic terms, they don't go to school. That would be for students. That would be for inheritance, right? Um, Walk in the park. Yeah, uh, move, move, right? Uh, also, a method to move person, right? Right. For move for person for person for person to move. Okay, for now. Again, obviously you can go crazy with this and you can keep going. So, you'll need it. Right. Uh, be for later. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, why not? Uh, be one to use include guard. Yeah. So, person H. Again, remember this is arbitrary, right? Define. You use include arrow string, include string, right? Oh, now we basically say okay and yeah yeah okay exactly that's it so I have my data defined string standard. I didn't use use names yeah standard string right um, I have of course I have finishes in the end if end if right yeah yeah right yeah okay so this again, this is the old way. Pragma once might be completely fine, right? On all the newer compilers, right? So uh, private, public, but I have not done anything, right? Move, eat something. Of course, I want probably string here, right? I want eat something, right? Eat string, food, food, right? Yeah, move location, you know. Maybe move, uh, we want location x, y or something, right? Move or jump, maybe here I'll do jump, right? For now, right? And then I'm not put, you know, okay. oh, hi, you know, uh, full double, hi, hi. Okay, let's do that. Uh, where's the problem here? Uh, three, ah, of course, namespace collision, right? So, yeah, now we got it, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. So, you can use use username space here, of course, as well, but now it's completely clear where this string comes from, right? So, this means now you can include this, right? And you can write programs against this, right? The only issue is, of course, it's not implemented yet, right? So, let's take a look now. So, let's write it. So, we have this find this, right? Now, uh, let's use... Um, uh, person, fa I'll call this person factory or something like that. Let's do person factory, person factory, repeat, right? So let's use, let's use person H in person factory, right? So include IO stream, if you still want it, include person H. So now, of course, now we can use it, right? At least abstract, in abstract sense, right? I'll use the name again since you're lazy. And yeah, John. No, I'll do Alice, of course. I'll do Alice. I'll do Alice, Bob, and so on, right? Alice. Come on, I want to do Alice. Sir. So Alice, and 25. Bob will be uh, person, person, person. Bob, 30, right? And, and we'll do some, you know, and, and Carol will be third, right? Per Carol will be third. Charlie? Okay, Charlie. And then. I usually do Carol, but it's, uh, it's um, we'll do Dave. Dave, of course, person four. Probably, probably again. So this is all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, almost would feel like these would fit nicely in a vec in array or vector, right? Of course. But okay. Yeah. <coughs> but, so let's call print method. So person print, person two print, right? Person three print and person four print. Okay. So now, of course, you say, okay, this is all great. What's going to happen if I compile this, right? My person factory, right? My, I made my own, you know, I don't know, right? My own world, right? And so compile. And of course, 
it's not going to work, right? It should not work in any person factory on person my fa well, factory or something, right? Okay, output, output. So as you can see, yes, okay. So the problem is, of course, that I'm claiming this person H, right? It's promising all these great things, but I'm not implementing it, right? So, what I need to do, of course, I need to provide another file, person cpp, right? So, let's do that. Let's implement this. Right? So, person cpp, right? Of course, I need, let's implement, uh, implement all that is defined in, not classes, in person h, right? So, include our stream. Uh, well, thing is, okay, so can we skip this part? Well, it's we're including it, right? So we can probably skip all of those, right? We should be able to skip all this. It, it's, again, remember, it has included guards, so it should be, but so, uh, it, I think we, can, we should be able to skip this, right? Right, but, so I'll, I'll, I'll comment this out for now, I believe so, right? And now we can, right, again, since we're lazy, again, we are lazy, we are lazy. So, yeah okay so constructor right so you do this basically do everything right person person string name so you do all the work here basically destructor person object destroyed and i'll put the name in here person again this is going to get really dark soon right so so pretty dark you're going to be destroying persons here right so at least uh, no object person object destroyed right okay Right. What else do we need there? The question is, is AI smart enough to figure out that I need a print jump eat? Or do I have to do it myself? So, methods. Print, yes, smart enough to know picks up on a, on a header. Very good, very nice. Thank you, AI. Um, it knows that I'm, I need to produce. Again, now pay attention to these two columns, right? That's how you access this, right? So, that's how, the, that's how you know, okay, this is for the person, right? You're defining the actual work for person, a print, and then we have a jump, double height, jump meters, right? And also void person eats, ate some food. And again, of course, of course, you'd have to check some logic again. Again, there, there could be some, some logic here to test. Yeah, and of course, same again, same was for checking if food is, it, it, yeah, all right, okay, now, so now, we have, I think, done everything, right, we have implementation, right, in a separate file, but if I now, of course, I try to compile it, well, it's still going to yell, right, because, of course, how would it know that there is a person CPP file, so what we do is, it should work, now let's take a look, now it should work, if I remember correctly, right, it would work, Yes, it was. So the linking step actually happened, right? So a linker. So when you compile a program, right, you actually compile multiple files, right? So let's see what happened here. Actually, do we have the link uh, separation here? Um, is there a person? Yeah. So person, person, person. Uh, the LDD files. Actually, we didn't. It, it didn't carry them separately, right? It actually. It is part of. So in this case, we skip this. The so linked it, link. It's a linking came for us for free, basically, in this case, right? We didn't have any intermediate files, right? So if you go back to the first slides, I think first lecture, we talked about how the process of creating a program in C++, right? You have multiple. So we create machine code actually for this person, for the person, right? And also for the person factory, right? So again, notice that they both share the same header, right? Person H, person H, right? That's completely fine. And again, that also helps why we have the, uh, this uh, include string, right? So now we can we should be able to run it. This person factory, right? Yes. So Dave got destroyed first. Alice lived the longest, actually, right? So it worked, right? So this is how you would structure, and this is completely normal C++ code, right? You have big projects, you have multiple, multiple files, right? Uh, and then we have not even discussed the namespaces for se separate, right? You might have a human namespace or something like that, and so on and so on. So, do you guys understand this idea, right? Yes. 
Okay, and you will be able to compile it, no problem. Of course, it gets now the co compilation, sorry, the compilation gets kind of complex, right? Usually, of course, you have make make files, right? The builds process right here, run, right them. Um, let's see this works actually, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's see what it say. Okay. It does not know it does not know how to link it because of course that this part here, right? It does not know, right? It tried to compile it. Let's see what how they try to build G plus plus diagnostics uh, personal CPP. You see, it does not know about the other file, right? So the build step building, right? Um, control C, right? Um, now we close this terminal, right? So is there more terminals uh, clear? Oh, here we go. There we go. So again, my approach, right? You see, this is actually what we want to do, right? Uh, where is my? Yeah, where is my? Oh, and of course again, um, the thing is, could we compile just the person? Yeah, we could. All right, uh, we could do this, right? Uh, person CVP and output person. How do we call it? Person DLL? I don't know. DLL, I guess. I think this works. No, uh, I forget now how you can make a. Right, main person CVP. Or we want uh, for linking, we don't want output, we want. Uh, now let me see, it's been a while since I. So, compile C mm, file for linking. Right. Um, so, we want output, this intermediate step. Uh, compilation. Linker, so output, yeah, compilation. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can, can I do this just like this. I'm trying to see if I can do this. No, right. It, 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 you see, we expect it expects a main, right? It thinks that so we need to again, we would need to. Uh, we don't need we don't need the main here, right? Person CPP doesn't need the main, right? Because we, this is just intermediate step. But how we prepared? So the idea being this: that we don't want to keep for larger projects. Of course, we don't want to uh, keep recompiling everything, right? If you ever try to compile something like a Linux kernel or like a Chrome or something like that, it takes like hours sometimes. If you have slow computer or you know not enough cores, right? So mm, yeah. So link this. So compiling for linking. I think there should be way, again. I've been. It's been. I've been out of C plus for a while, so I forget now. But there's a way to do it, right? But again, for now, you just compile it like I said here, right? Yeah. And again, so person factory, person. Well, ah, oh, CVP, right? And output factory. And it works again, right? So, but there was a way to, so at least one has to have main, right? One has to have main, but if I have a uh, compile C++ reference, compile, uh, compiling file for linking. I thought there was a way to do it. I'm pretty sure. Language, language, right? What does Oracle say? Of course, Oracle is known for other things, right? Um, no, I didn't mention this here, right? This is, of course, not right. All compilers, right? So, C. Ah, compiling. Yeah, okay. C flag, C flag. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's see. It should do it. Should do it. So, let's try this. So, G++. I could add some flags, but I think this should do it. Person C++. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so what happened now? Right, if I have it, person output object, I think it's called object file, right? So this one, right? So now I should be able to compile, right? Including this file, right? Uh, so now I can compile separately, right? I could compile now, now I can compile G++ uh, or they call it a compile person factory, right? Right? Yeah, and now I can link it. Yeah, now I can link it separately, right? And now we could link it, right? Link it. 
So that's of course you don't usually want to do it separately. This is like all days, right? But you could do a linking right now, LD, right? Now linking to files. Plus link to files. Yeah, this is old of course, but uh, let's see. Output. And then you have the okay. Now you have compile. Yeah. So linking. Mm, all files, right? Yeah. So. So this is output full. Yeah. So this should work. Okay, let's try this, right? It's been a while, like I said. So G plus plus. Again, output the right flag, what do I want to do? My factory. Uh, factory, right? And then I would provide uh, the, my outputs. I already have a. Again, order should not really matter, right? O and person O. Let's see if this works. Will it work? Yeah, it worked. Okay, great. So. Out of the, uh, I only pre-compiled separate files. So again, you can see, of course, this process. I did this manually. You would not want to do this manually. Of course, you usually have you make files, C make, and so on, right? To predefine all these operations, right? But that's what's happening. So this manually, right? These two have machine code, basically, right? And actually, well, uh, you compile them together into executable file, right? So again, you don't technically need to recompile all the files all the time. But this basically this, this two-step process is what we did when I do this part here, right? This basically compiles these, right? Again, and then opens into the factory. So we saw the slow way, the separate way, and this is a full way, full. But of course, this could be much slower because you have to recompile everything, right? And of course, it works, right? Hopefully this again if you want to see what's happening underneath. All right, so let's talk about our homework. And uh, actually, we next lecture you'll need some help from the next lecture, I believe, right? Yeah, inheritance and composition, right? So uh, on Tuesday, maybe I'll make this. Actually, I should probably make the second homework a little bit. We'll give you a little bit extra time, right? What do you think? Well, uh, it's if it doesn't so. Let's talk about the homework. So, song class. So, what I want is a song class, right? It should uh, need some additional parameters. Title, author, lyrics, right? It uh, could be string, could be some other data type. And year, uh, can be default to zero, right? Uh, inside the constructor method, right? Uh, you can set the stored data, right? The minimum 70% of the grade will be, you need to have member function, sing, Print song line by line on a string, on a screen, right? You also want yelling function, which yells the letters on the screen, you know, cap, all caps, right? So, um, uh, so uh, yes, questions, can we actually make, that's a good question, chain, this is a question which is actually made this from Python, now, do, can we make them chainable, actually? Good question, because in Scala you can, in Java I think you can, in C++ you can, but yeah, extra, right? So this is 70% of the grade, so that's easy. This one is actually, let me double check if I made it correctly, because previously, mm, mm, chainable methods, I believe, made fun member functions. I believe so, you can do it. Let's show you. Yeah, can you do this? Yeah, something like this. This should be doable. It's very common, uh, yeah, because why? This is pretty, not some guy, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, I don't like this, but you repent, you re need to return this. Yes, you can do this. Uh, yes, you can do this. So yeah, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll figure, figure this out. So if you return this, uh, then you can keep, keep chaining, right? Now, max lines. So only you can provide how many lines to print, right? So. The image made the sing one yell everything, right? So it prints the first line, right? Because sing one, 
and keeps chaining, yells. This will give you 100% for this particular uh, exercise. It's in a way, it's really easy, but again, I want to see some sources. If you use some, uh, you know, you know, whether you use prompts for ChatGPT uh, or you use some uh, resource, I want to see the comments, right? The only thing is in your homework, they want to see comments of your, you know, what you are trying to do, basically, right? So if you just submit perfect code but no comments, I'm not going to give you full credit. So write some comments, right? Okay, now the second one is I'm going to give it a little bit longer because the uh, inheritance we're going to cover in class only on Tuesday, right? You probably know what the like, inheritance is, right? For the rap class, I'll give you how much additional time because we have or also we have or because also we have or uh, or uh, what do you call uh, oh 17 of October, right? Oh, I made 17 actually. Right. So actually, you have plenty of time actually. So actually, I made it. Well, so that that should be enough, right? 17, 17, so two weeks actually. That's good already, right? Two weeks. So not too difficult. Maybe somebody already submitted? No, not yet. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what else? We have a couple of minutes. Let's see what else can we talk about. Yeah, so chaining. We can talk about the chaining. I can see we can try implementing this. So, idea being that if you return itself, right, this person, for example, right, you could jump a couple times. You could eat instead of this, right, void. You actually return something, right? Oh, let's see. If this is correct. Um, let's see. Move, right? Make a, let's make a, let's declare it. Let's declare a move function that returns the object itself, right? So it should be pointer, right? Person move double distance, right? So we can keep moving, right? Uh, right, of course, uh, then we have, of course, you have distance here, right? And double, you know, distance, right? Something like that, you know, or uh, location. You know, we assume it's his person's moving on the only single dimension, you know, X, right? It'll do X, right? Yeah, okay, right. Probably so. Now, person. So, need, of course, I need to implement this, right? So, I'll need to implement this. Let's implement, let's implement the move function. Right, person, person, person. So, this part here, so this is the trick. So, this. This makes the method <coughs> chainable, right? Uh, yeah. So basically, we return the set. We're returning itself. We are returning ourselves. We are returning ourselves. So this trick again. It's very common in all OP languages, right? So when you see this big chain, right? Kotlin, Scala, Java, right, and so on, right? So you can have this chain dot 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 dot. So you keep moving. So also. Uh, print. Let's make print as well, right? I'll make print as well, right? So person. Yeah. And of course, I need to go back here, right? I need to modify my print because I'm returning the person. Right. It's not always need needed, but now I can, I can print and move. I can print and move uh, in the same line. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, and let's see this in action, right? Let's move who? Who is going to be moved? Alice, right? So we're gonna uh, let's move Alice. Let's move and print Alice a few times in same line. Yeah, person one, move one, two, move two. Well, print. So this should work again. So print, right? So again, why does this work? Because this has a signature that is returning person. Of course, it's up to us to return the right person. We could be returning Bob if we had some way to getting to Bob, right? If we knew how to get Bob from Alice, but we don't, right? But if you could create a new person also, right? But all, all the compiler cares, of course, right? It's, it's a getting person. So this means, oh, after move returns person, you can keep doing it forever, basically, right? So again, because of the signature, right? So now let's see if we can compile all this beautiful stuff, right? So now it looks okay. Signatures match, right? 
because today I, I hope I didn't forget any place. Uh, again, remember, void and person. Again, so if, we're, if of course, uh, how about this factory, right? I'm doing this print, right? Print returns person, right? Technically, I could save a reference to the same person, right? It's not a copy, right? It's not a copy. It's just a, it's a, so, it's a reference. Uh, so, let's run it. It compiled, beautiful, and let's see it actually run it. Factory, right? Yes, okay, well, Dave got destroyed, we know about that. So, oh, wow. Wow, so this is actually much more interesting. We are, Alice got destroyed so many times. What happened here? <laughs> right. <laughs> Alice moved, Alice moved six meters, right? Right? Right, and where is our print? Right, so, jump, moved, well, what was printed? Ah, oh, print, per, okay, on location. The look at X. Uh, X, right? Yes, okay. I'm mean, gonna need, of course, a constructor, right? Let's do X, since I'm lazy, I'll start X is in a double X, right? Equals zero, right? And I'm lazy. Right, uh, now of course I can just do it here, right? It's x, x. Now it should work. Uh, and, right, what's the problem? Of course, my header is wrong here, right? I'm promising things, I'm not fulfilling my contract, so to say. Probably x, right? So now it should work correctly, yes. Okay, good. Very smart. The ID, this code, uh, this plugin is really nice. All right, now. So this looks like actually when you return, why is it destroyed three times? That's very interesting. We have four objects, we have copies. This should make a copy. Uh, we have printing it, we have a reference, right? So very interesting. Uh, this needs, uh, this part here is very interesting. That he actually, there is somewhere, memory is the same Alice. It should be the same Alice actually, right? We will need to see if it returns, 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 right? Maybe they may be on stack somewhere, right? Very interesting actually about this part here. All right. Okay. Person, person, double X. Oh, we don't need, okay, uh, yeah. We don't, I don't, I think here in the header we don't do it. Double X, right? Is this okay? Nope. So why can't we just finish this? So what's the problem? What did it compare? But it didn't like this and the constructor. Uh, why? Is, why didn't like this? What's the problem? Let's see about this. Maybe I can skip this. Oh no. Maybe like this. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Four, okay, four. so this is really tricky right now. This is a, so I would expect zero to be here. Instead, it had to be here, right? The default value, right? Again, so this is a little tricky, right? On the double X, right? Of course, now it should work. And we can see again, Alice is getting destroyed many times, right? Okay, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, Alice. So these were all, uh, so what's happening? So let's see, we can count what happened. Why, why did we get so many Alice objects? It looks like, it certainly looks like, very interesting actually, this, there was a reference, right? To one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, actually, right? So this is a little bit suspicious or sus, right? So uh, is actually this co copy, because this shouldn't copy right this part here right where, uh, where we are move right need, need to, we'll look at it next time we'll see if this actually is the correct approach to this chaining right so you can implement it right but it certainly looks like there are multiple objects you need to check actually uh, the state because we are not really well uh, it should be the same because why uh, let's do this here again so if i do it uh right here, right, person move, right, uh, print, 
what are my public what is my person six meters right do you have public information here on pu public I have nothing right let's double check where we are right we can do this right no problem right I'm lazy right seal right person X right let's take a look it should be so this means that the original is you know we are modifying the original right and these are all gone right and then we can finish yes no so this is actually not correct right so this is actually not the move actually did not uh, did not modify this so this needs to be investigated further actually right so this will need some extra work actually right uh, let's see what, what happened about move where's the move oh well because we didn't move it right obviously right <laughs> so let's add that and then we can fix it so yeah x plus one right again don't trust the ai so now it should work yes on um, one meter okay so that's very interesting right so she did not move six meters but just one meter and why is that let's take a look the only the first move worked. the rest actually this chaining did not work actually it looks like it worked so this is this needs to be fixed actually fix me uh, we are not chain v or chain is producing new objects We're producing copy we don't want that actually all right so this is uh, fix me all right again though maybe again if we, I, i'm pretty sure we can fix it right so we'll check this on tuesday all right thank you everyone all right thank you. So see you on tuesday